Hi, my name is Jay. I'm a 69-year-old registered independent living in North Carolina. And this is my second RVAT video, having done the first one about three and a half months ago. But my message today is focused on my fellow senior citizens out there. In 2016, we were a critical demographic in electing Trump as president. But I hope you'll join me in ensuring that in 2020, we are once again a critical demographic, but this time in ensuring that Trump is out of the White House and Joe Biden is elected president. Now, I'm a conservative, and I voted begrudgingly for Trump in 2016. I felt that he was the lesser of two evils, and I have supported a number of his policies over the past few years. But I'm very proud that I have voted in every presidential election since 1972. And I haven't voted for a Democrat for president since 1976. But I'm enthusiastically supporting Joe Biden for president in 2020. Now, I'm not going to agree with every one of his policies throughout the course of a Biden administration, but I believe he is the best man to be president of the United States for the next four years. To me, this election for seniors is all about the kind of legacy that we leave for our kids and our grandkids. And I can tell you, I don't want my legacy to be a president who is a narcissist, a pathological liar, a sociopath, a misogynist, and a bully. I don't want my legacy to be a president who has shown absolutely zero leadership in times of the most significant crises facing our country over the last few decades. I don't want my legacy to be a president who divides our country by red cities and blue cities, by red states and blue states, by race, by religion, by political affiliation. I don't want my legacy to be a president who demeans our military and refers to individuals that fought and died for our freedom as losers and suckers. No, that's not what I want my legacy to be. But what I do want my legacy to be is to have a president who shows compassion and empathy, a president who treats people with dignity and respect. I want my legacy to be a president who shows leadership through decisive and strategic actions. I want my legacy to be a president who can bring together red states and blue states, who can bring together Democrats, Republicans, and independents. I want my president to be someone that treats our military with the honor that they deserve. And so when I vote in 2020, I'm voting for Joe Biden because to me, this is the kind of legacy that I want to leave for my kids and my grandkids. And I hope you'll join with me in supporting Biden-Harris on November 3rd, 2020. Thank you very much.